Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on Practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. In this video, we are going to do the Boo Hoo Challenge. It's uh, number nine, I believe, in the intermediate section. So let's go ahead and take a look what we have to do today in this video. Check if a value is classified as a boolean, or a boolean, however you want to call that. Um, check if a value is classified as a boolean primitive. Return true or false. Okay, so um, this function takes one argument. Okay, that's the value. And uh, if it is a boolean primitive, in other words, if it's true or if it's false, if the argument is true or false, then we will return true. And if it's anything else other than that, uh, we will return false. Um, so, you know, in, in other challenges, we, um, you know, we looked at, um, you know, like falsy and truthy values. And we know that like a falsy value can be um, a lot of different things. It could be false, of course. It can be, um, it can be an empty string, uh, zero, uh, undefined, null, a special kind of value called NAN, not a number, and those are all considered falsy values. And normally they will evaluate to false, but uh, all of those values, they're not Boolean, they're not a Boolean primitive. Um, there's only two Boolean primitives, and it's true and false, and that's it. So, um, and basically, all we have to do is just check if the argument is true or false, and if it is, return true, and if it's anything other than that, we return false. So, um, because this um, solution it is uh, relatively, you know, easier. You know, I'm not saying that it's easy, but relatively easier than the other challenges. I want to show you two solutions. Um, I'll show you first the very obvious solution, and then I'm going to introduce a new um, JavaScript trick uh, that you should definitely uh, take a look at. So let's go into the Atom editor. I've created a new JavaScript file called uh, number 9 boohoo.js, and I already went ahead and embedded that in my example.html file on line 11. Okay, so um, we got this comment here. Uh, it's a joke from the people at freecodecamp.com. What is the new fad diet for ghost developers? The boolean. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I secretly enjoyed that, but we don't need it for the purposes of this tutorial, so I'm getting rid of it. All right. Um, very you know, very easily, and we've seen something like this before, you know, just a simple if condition will, you know, make this work. So if I said, you know, if bool um, is equal to true, or if bool is equal to false, then return true, else return false, and this alone will work, okay? If we go here, if we open up our JavaScript console, okay, like we normally do, clear that out and refresh, we should get a false because uh, null, the argument that we passed in here, it is, um, it is not a Boolean primitive. If I give it uh, argument of false though, it should return true, yes it is. Okay, and if I give it true, Okay, same thing here. Okay, I should get a true as well. Okay, so we know that works. Um, this this can be reduced to one line right here. There's no reason for us to to create like this if block the way it is. Um, so uh, let's just go ahead and make it one line, and it's gonna do exactly the same thing. You've seen this in a previous video, but it's been a while, so let's just go ahead and show you again. Um, basically, anytime you have like an, an if and else block, and one, and the if block returns true, and the else block returns false, um, there's there's no reason to, to write it like this. We can simply just write return, okay, bool is true, or bool is false. 
Okay, and that will do exactly the same thing. If I refresh here, okay, I get true. Let's change it to null, the original value. Okay, excuse me, I've been drinking beer. Okay, we got a false in the console uh, right there. And uh, I can go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, I can go ahead and copy this, bring it over to Free Code Camp's website paste that in and it should work no problems get to the chopper that's the success message for this challenge okay so um, that's uh, one way to you know test it out it takes a single line um, to, to do it so relatively easy I'm going to show you another uh, way to solve this problem also takes a single line but it's going to introduce a new concept uh, a new concept called uh, type of. So um, let me just um, let me just copy this so I can use it later. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do, um, it's going to take a single line again. Okay. And I'm just going to say return type of bull. Now let's just leave it at that. Return type of bull. Okay. So if I save that. Oops, oh, that's what I needed. If I save that and refresh, oh, I get an object. Okay, that's interesting. Null is an object. How about uh, the number 68? Why 68? I don't know, just totally random. Refresh it, number. Huh, that's interesting. Look, um, we got number and that's a string. We got an object for null, that was a string as well. Let's put in a string. Okay, hello. Save that. String. Okay, so you can kind of see here, we, we've got all sorts of cool stuff happening. Uh, let me put in an array. Let's see what we get in the array. What, what type of object is that? No, oh, it's also an object. Okay, anyway, you can see here that type of uh, this method right here, it tells us what is actually what kind of object it is and if I do it with the boolean, boolean primitives the boolean primitives I get the boolean object same thing for false save that refresh it and it's also a boolean so with that in mind okay all we have to do I'll make this back to null return type of bool and the type of is going to return a string so boolean and we should get a false yes we do perfect okay. you can see here it looks like identical but instead of like this or going on uh, we're just making sure that the type of the argument is equal to boolean so I can copy and paste this, <coughs> excuse me, into Free Code Camp, and it should work exactly the same. There we go. Get to the chopper again. Okay. So uh, basically, um, we have type of. It's a special JavaScript keyword. Sorry, let me just check the time. Oh, plenty of time. We got the type of keyword, and whatever is to the right of this keyword type of it will return a string so uh, we can put like a variable here or we can put uh, we could put like really anything we could put like a, a value like a string a number like whatever or a variable that represents uh, that data and it will return a string of the type of object it is and uh, it's it's a good idea to go to the uh, JavaScript uh, docs just search for Indian type of okay. and uh, we get we got it here oh, we got it on a couple of pages uh, let's try the first one and it'll give you all of the examples I highly recommend just checking out the docs anyway uh, because they're really interesting and uh, very helpful here so you can see the type of operator returns a string indicating the type of the unevaluated operand. Okay, so um, in this here, it tells you everything that uh, gets returned. Um, 
and, uh, and they got tons of examples. So 37 is the number, 3.14, the first uh, few digits of pi is also a number. So these are all the types of uh, objects that will return the number. Um, and crazy enough, not a number, if you run type of on not a number, it returns a number, which is just a weird, quirky thing about JavaScript, but whatever. Um, you know, all of these things <coughs> will return strings, and so it's definitely a good idea just to um, take a look at the docs, take a look at the examples, uh, and just play around with it. But um, yeah, it returns a string, and we can use um, this equality operation to, to check it. So, so yeah, um, that is two ways to check whether or not an argument is a Boolean primitive. Okay, so relatively easy. Not saying that this is easy. Not saying that programming or JavaScript is easy. It's one of the hardest friggin' things that you can do. So, um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lighter challenge. Uh, but trust me, I've been working on the other challenges, and in the coming days, um, I will be pressed for time as I explain some difficult concepts to you in 15 minutes or less. Um, but it's going to be fun because we're learning together. As always, um, I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, um, please share the love. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this video on your social networks like face, Facebook or Twitter, all that good stuff. You know what to do. If you're learning programming, you know exactly what to do with YouTube videos that you like. So I'm going to stop insulting your intelligence and just leave you to it. That's all for this video, and I hope you have a good one. Until next time, I hope you have a happy journey in coding. That's all for now. Goodbye. Boop.